Hey there guys and welcome. In this video I am introducing a new piece of software called the Big Brain Mic Mod. Now this is a piece of software I've written myself. It's taken some time to get this conceptual prototype done. But what it is, is it's an audio enhancer using machine learning to improve the audio quality of poor audio sources and converts them into better audio quality sources. This is a conceptual proof of concept. It's very limited. So in this particular version, it's free to download. It's for Windows only. But what it's designed to do is it's designed to convert the $50 Shure SM57 dynamic microphone into the audio quality of a $500 Shure SM7B. They're not going to sound exactly the same, but using machine learning, I am showcasing conceptually that it's possible to, imp to improve the audio quality um, of one microphone into a better microphone. Now, it, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. And there is a lot of room for improvement. Ultimately, the direction I go is based on the feedback I get from you guys whether you want this embedded into live stream as a cloud service, a mobile app, uh, whether you want this as a Windows, Mac, or a VST plugin for Pro Tools, or what type of plugin you want. Uh, what do you guys want? Is there, uh, a, do you want plosive reduction? Do you want re echo reduction? Do you want a particular microphone to be improved? Do you want plosives reduced? Do you want... Uh, particular sounds. Do you want a proximity effect added or a proximity effect removed? Do you want things to be automated? Do you want profiles? Uh, do you want to be able to uh, configure uh, on a command line or do you want it to be a graphics interface? I'm very curious to know what you want because it will save me time in getting out a product that you want sooner. Uh, I'll be working on this product for quite a bit of time. Uh, I've spent some time on it already, but based on the feedback I get from you guys, I'll be investing more time on it. I'll be bringing some additional resources in to the entire project. Um, but it, it's really based on your feedback. If I get 100 thumbs up on this video, what I'll do is I'll spend the time to release a new version with new features. Uh, and if I get a thousand thumbs up, what I'll do is I'll go out and I'll drop my own cash to make sure that this product gets done properly with additional resources. Um, that might mean hiring a few people to make sure this product gets done properly, but um, we'll see. Let me know what the features you want are and I'll try to address those particular features as well. There's a survey you can take on the website called auxiliary.live you can visit. Uh, there's a survey at the bottom you can take. Uh, there's also a email subscribers list you can you know, subscribe to. And when I release a new version, you'll get notifications that way. Um, right now it's Windows only. So if you want Mac, let me know and I'll try to get a Mac version out. If you want other versions again, let me know and I'll try to work on these features. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and that is what I would recommend you do. Now, as a demonstration, I have a Shure SM57 here, with the pop filter, and I have a Shure SM7B. Uh, they're both set up to be roughly the same distance away. The Shure SM7B has the uh, presence boost on because that's what I trained the computer to learn. And what the computer is gonna do is it's gonna listen to the audio quality of my SM57, and it is going to Apply a filter to make it sound more like the Shure SM7B. It's not going to be perfect, but it is done with machine learning uh, only. So it is a proof of concept of what a machine can do without a professional audio engineer to go in and play with equalizers, to play with anything like that. This is a very simple machine learning application with limited training and a limited tunnel you know, of what uh, I was trying to achieve 
that was based on time and resource limits. So it can be improved dramatically with more resources, more training, more direction. So bear that in mind. This is a test of the Shure SM57 dynamic microphone. So this is a test of the Shure SM57 dynamic microphone. I'm speaking through a pop filter from about five inches away from the front capsule. So this is about a $50 microphone used Canadian. Uh, it sells retail for about $100. This is the Shure SM7B dynamic microphone. I'm speaking into it from about three to four inches away. The capsule in the body is a little further back, so I'm speaking closer to it to make sure the proximity effect between these two microphones are roughly equal. Um, there is no pop filter on this microphone and the presence boost is enabled. There is no bass roll-off enabled though. And now this is the Shure SM57 again. This is often used for instruments. Um, there is a SM58 model which is designed for vocals, which you don't need a pop filter for, but the Shure SM57 is my preference uh, because it's you know, I think it looks nicer to be honest. That's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, this is the Shure SM57. It is a highly popular microphone, but it is a little bit rough on vocals. Now again, this is the Shure SM7B. It's a little smoother. It has a crisper high, crisper high end, I would say, or a little more sparkle on the high end than the Shure SM57. Um, while not being too rough. It also has a very swar warm, smooth, low end. Uh, if you have an equalizer, you can generally get this effect from an SM57 by giving the equalizer a 250 hertz boost, uh, but it's not gonna sound identical. Uh, this application essentially tries to do a very, very high resolution uh, filter and phase shifter and a couple other small things to imp to compare and convert the audio between these two. Uh, this is the Shure SM57 again. Uh, this application I'm using to convert does use uh, GPUs or multi-core CPUs to process. Uh, if you run in software, single mode only, single threaded mode only, it will go pretty slow, roughly real time uh, on, on, on an average computer, but with a GPU, it will go uh, substantially faster than real time. It is using machine learning uh, uh, you know, to train, but to apply the effect, it's still pretty fast. So hopefully, uh, it should be able to be completely a usable solution for even live streaming and server applications. Okay guys, so that was an example of the two microphones and the mic mod enabled and disabled. It's not gonna sound exactly perfect, but it will make the audio quality sound more similar, or at the very least, it's gonna improve the audio quality of the Shure SM57 in the image of the SM7B. It's a free download. It's limited to 16-bit input and it will be a 16-bit wave output as well. Um, but it is a free application to try and it will improve the audio quality. Uh, there are some limitations, plosives, background noise, things like that aren't going to be treated with this application. Those will not be uh, included in this particular free version. Uh, maybe in future free versions, but the noise reduction feature, which I actually have finished, I have not yet included in this version. It, it needs, um, I guess, polish and optimization before I can release it. Uh, but again, thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Give me some feedback at auxiliary.live, and I'll try to make a better version and release one soon. So thank you, guys. This was the Big Brain Mic Mod conceptual prototype introduction. Thank you.